Welcome back, my friends. Here we are at game number two between Marine King Prime and E.G. Huck. We are this time on Metalopolis, spawning over here in the 9 o'clock spawn position. We have got our red Protoss player, E.G. Huck. And then down over here in the 6 o'clock, the blue Terran player is Marine King Prime. Marine King Prime, winner of the last game, so is now up in this series. One game to zero against Mr. Huck. And I'm excited to see game number two. You can see they are spawning in this close air position. This will make for drops or any sort of air harass being quite effective here as you can get it into your opponent's base nice and early, relatively early in the uh, in the overall game time. So, yeah, that's all there is to say about that. Let me talk about last game for a moment. Man, uh, so early on we saw that DT harass there from Huck. Was able to do a little bit of damage with that. Actually a fair amount of damage to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, now, so Huck moved out with those DT, but once that was taken care of, Marine King Prime pushed out with a counterattack. Marine Marauder Medevac, he had Stim Pack Research, he had Combat Shield, and I'm pretty sure he also had Weapons Level 1 at that point. And that was pretty devastating. That 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 push alone really set Huck far behind. Almost two to 3,000 resources behind Marine King Prime is where he was at at that moment. And we saw continued aggression. There was a secondary push again there from Marine King Prime which also did a bit of damage to him. And then that transition into Colossus for Huck is actually what kind of helped get him back in the game a little bit. The problem though is that Marine King Prime with drop and push harass was able to snipe two of Huck's Nexuses, or Nexi. I, I can never remember which one it is. <laughs> he managed to snipe two of the bases of Huck and that was a huge problem because later on as the game progressed, Huck just got to the point where he didn't have the resources. Losing those bases forced him to rebuild, and at least he rebuilt one of them. He rebuilt the one at the third, and that just really, really hurt him. And not, not being able to get by fourth base as well pretty much made it impossible for Huck to get back in the game as Marine King Prime had his expansion in the center of the map. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's uh, get things started here. We have our first Marine coming on out here, Marine King Prime, not going for that one Rax expand build, or that crazy expand build that we saw last game. Is playing relatively standard early on. He's actually getting a pretty early tech lab. Let's keep an eye on that. Will it be a Reaper expand? Will it be early Marauder pressure? Hmm, all sorts of things to ponder. We will know in just a moment as soon as that tech lab has finished. Siren X Core now finished. We should be seeing a Stalker. It is a Marauder. So I am expecting a little bit of early game pressure here from Marine King Prime to get a Marauder this early. It's pretty much for me to be expected. So let's see what he uh, ends up deciding to do though. First Stalker is coming out now. He does have a Zealot already chasing that SCP away. After that Stalker, we're either going to see another Stalker or a Sentry. Which one will it be, my friend? Which one will it be? Here comes the early aggression. Marine Marauder now moving out. Has another Marine coming through. Zealot grabs a tower. He spots us. With, without Concussive Shell, though, this is not nearly as effective. And uh-oh, Stalker... Comes to join as well, and no, the, loses a Marine without doing any damage, forces the Marauder all the way back. Not sure whether or not that Concussive Shell was being researched. Pretty wise of Huck to pull back, because if that Concussive Shell finished, then he would have been able to take out that Zealot, and probably even that Stalker without issue. I mean, Huck probably could have microed around that, but still. Wouldn't have been easy, that's for sure. So unfortunately there, the attempted a tiny bit of early game aggression from Marine King Prime ended up uh, not succeeding at all. Just lost the Marine without doing any damage. Two more racks coming through, still just on that one refinery. Of course, we do notice this expansion here. He was attempting to move out with that early Marine and Marauder and couple it with an expansion by maybe even slightly containing Huck there. The real big problem, was honestly, was having that Zealot. That Zealot, that zealot coming into play really did hurt him there. If it was just a Stalker, that Marauder Marine early game pressure would have been perfect. But having a Zealot come into play really did hurt him. And Huck will be hitting with a 4-gate. Oh, snap. <laughs> We've got a 4-gate coming here from Huck. Marine King Prime realizing something's a little funny here. Decides to come out with a bunker. Oh, snap. That is a problem. That is a problem for Huck. He is committed now to this 4-gate. And he's just dropped the expansion, you know, he spots the bunker there, and he probably realizes at this point, I can't push on that, are you kidding me? There's no way. He might try, but he's not, that is just such an optimal position. Now what he can do, what he can certainly do, is try to delay this expansion. 
And let's see him do that very thing right here. Pushing forward, sentry zealots, and a couple stalkers. He will be delaying this expansion. And actually, no, he decides to commit. He cancels off his ne nexus, and he is pushing. He is committing, but there's two bunkers on the high ground. Oh, this is scary here. He's going to work through that first one very close. Still hasn't broken it. Finally breaks his way through, but his remaining forces are very small. A couple more stalkers coming in. Nice force field trying to trap some of that Biomarine King Prime. Very wisely pulls back with that. Some more stalkers coming on through, and Huck is actually going to sneak his way into the main. I guess it's not really sneaking, but he makes his way into the main. Still a few Marauders trying to kite around. No concussive shell, though, really does hurt him quite a bit. He finished Stim Pack. He's going to stim up and try to do what he can for damage. Trying to get around with those SCVs. More and more Stalkers coming through. Marine King Prime deciding I can't land that. What am I even thinking? More and more aggression coming out. Now he still has his bunker up, but he doesn't have any units to go in it. Plus, he needs to, of course, defend these over here. And again, as we can see, Huck is completely committed here to this. He's going to kill off the Tech Lab. Marine King Prime will be forced to bring that Orbital Command back inside of his main. Now, he can maintain an economy if he lands that and comes out with some more mules and some more SCVs as needed. He just needs to continue to produce. Continue, continue, continue. Why are you not producing? Produce! <laughs> Coming out with a tech lab, he's actually holding off on marine production so that he can get this tech lab for some more Marauders. And Huck, unable to break him. Did a bit of damage, but was unable to break him. They're actually even in terms of resources lost. Now, Huck has killed off 10 workers, but still, look at this income here. Marine King Prime staying on par of Huck even after losing workers because of all that mules and having these two bases producing SCVs. Well, this one hasn't really started yet, but we'll be landing this factory in the corner, actually coming out the starport here, continuing up this bio production. Huck will try to delay this as long as he possibly can as he buys himself time to come up with his own base here. We'll be seeing that switch into DT. Dark Templar, again, two games in a row. Huck, he says, I love DT. Let me make some more. So once that Dark Shrine finishes, we will be seeing that come into play. He obviously still has these two proxy pylons, can continue to warp in here and try to delay this expansion from going down. I mean, look at this. You can see Marine King Prime getting very close to mined out even, just off of his one base. So nothing he can do about this either. He needs to wait until he's got a sizable force to break this. He's actually getting pretty close, though, with Stimpak here. Yeah. Oh, Huck, what are you doing? Yeah, please get him to safety. Thank you. Decides it is time to leave, realizing that Marine King Prime is starting to get a sizable enough force to actually push out. Figures, yeah, it's probably time for me to head out of here. Double medevac coming through. We also get a reactor over here on this factory. I wonder if that's going to be for a hot swap with this Rax. We'll see. Lands down his expansion. He needs to saturate that right away. Get these guys off that main. Go saturate that expansion, please. Huck trying to push forward. This could be a mistake now. He does have DT, though. So he's going to try to force scans. There's not enough energy to scan. DT trying to do what they can. Picks up those depots to stop that DT from getting the main. We got DT over here. He doesn't have the energy. He's been so focused on muling. I don't think he was even thinking about DT. He wasn't even fathoming, fathoming. He couldn't even fathom the possibility of DT, but here they are, ruining his day. Forcing a scan, so he's just gonna pull back with these ones. This one could make it. Nah, it doesn't. Concussive shell slows him down too much. Just moves immediately back in. We're forcing another scan. The engineering bay now in play. We will be seeing those turrets, and now he'll be all set against DT. Finally gets that up. More bio come down. Huck can't push on that. Too much. Too much bio here. No upgrades for him at all in terms of weapons or armor, but he does have that stim pack and combat shield and concussive shell. Plus, with those medevacs, man, that is hard to deal with. When you're just on gateway units. Without Colossus and without High Templar, that bio, it's tough to deal with, man. I tell you, Charge Zealot and Archon can do it all right. But even that, you'd like to throw some High Templar for Psy Storm into the mix. Here comes a Factory Scout going straight to check that expansion. Quite clearly, we can see Huck does have an expansion. Now, let's see. What is Marine King Prime going to do here? We'll be seeing some counter-aggression. Looks like that's a yes. DT doesn't spot it. He does not see that at all. Wow. D 
DT over here for Huck. We'll be trying to do some damage if we see any push from here. Uh, oh, it's going to be close. Yeah, he's going to get a couple shots off. Guess not. TT's taking a nap on the job. Someone fire that dude. All right, Marine King Prime now landing in the main. Sign the stim up now. Let's see what he's able to do for damage. This could be very effective. DT pushing over here, forces the scan. The bio takes care of that. He will be pushing on the front with that small group, plus what he has in the main. Doing as much damage as he can. Working through all these gateway units. Oh no. This is rough. Marine King Prime tearing through everything. Drops the Cyber Core. Pushes on the front as well. This is ridiculous. Drops the Cyber Next Core. DT gets scanned. Taken out Marine King Prime. Oh my gosh. Starting to work down the workers over here with that stemmed up bio. Takes out another DT. Huck calls a GG and the series goes to MKP. Marine King Prime able to defend himself against Huck's 4 gate into Dark Templar. Gets up his expansion, moves out with a drop. Without any High Templar and without any Colossus, this is just something that Huck cannot really realistically deal with at all. So great series here between these two players. Marine King Prime ends up taking it. I almost want to say with ease, but I think Huck was hard fought. But I don't know if Marine King Prime was hard won. Does that make any sense? Who knows? Who cares? Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this commentary. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Stay tuned in the future for some more SC2. Diablo 3 and all sorts of fun stuff that you guys see on my channel. Take it easy guys, I'll see you next time. Keep watching and keep owning.